All right, what up, y'all? It's Matt. So this truck behind me has no AC, and it's like 100 degrees out here. It's the middle of summer, so that's not good. We got to fix it. Um, I have a pretty good idea what's wrong with it, so let's go check it out and see if we can get it fixed. I bet you we can fix it in like 10 minutes. All right, let's check it out. The keys are in, and we got nothing. So let's pop the hood and see what's going on. All right guys, so I suspect it's the blower motor, which is right here. So basically, you know, check the big fuse, this under the fuse box over here, check the relay, all that fun stuff. Uh, really, you don't have to check it. So you can just pull the plug off and see if there's voltage with the switch on. And if it is, then all that stuff's good. So we're gonna see if there's voltage at the plug. If we got power there, we know it's bad. We're gonna swap it out. And I'm gonna swap out the resistor too, cause it's like 18 bucks, so why not? All right, that's off. And now I'm gonna turn it on, it should say 14. And now it says 14. All right, the blower's bad. I got a new blower resistor here and a new blower. We're gonna swap it out. All right, we got our new parts. Uh, here's the resistor and then the blower motor's in here. Uh, this isn't bad on mine, shouldn't be, but if one of the taps, like one of the speeds on yours is bad, then you need to swap this out because this is what controls the current going to the motor. Um, it limits the current, so it turns at a slower speed, basically. So if you only got like low or high or medium, then this is your problem. We got every speed when it was working, so... We got a brand new blower motor, and this one's got a, uh, a little pigtail on it. So, and then it's got this part right here. It's just like a boot that goes on there. But I'm gonna get it, uh, the old one off and this one on. Oh man, that core is nasty. It's got all kinds of gunk and stuff in there. All right, let's turn the, let's turn it on and see if it works. All right, so here's the old one. I'm gonna plug up the new one. Let's see if it turns on. Sweet. All right, let's swap it. Um, you gotta with this one, you gotta swap the squirrel cage blower plastic thing on there. So I'm gonna get it swapped out, buttoned up, 
And then uh, I'm going to clean out this core in there. I don't know. It's really nasty. I'm not even going to try to get a shot of it. But the, the heater core is just nasty. It's got all kinds of dirt and, and stuff in there. So let me get this thing buttoned back up, guys. Oh, my God. Look at that. It's got gunk and stuff all around it. Look at that. How did that not burn? All right. Well, we're going to swap this out and then pop the thing back in there. All right. So we ran out of light, but basically stick it back in there. Wash the heater core out. You got it. All right, guys, let's see if that fixed it. Yes, I knew it would. Hi. Sweet. All right, guys, so that's it for the video. All right, y'all, so it's fixed. That was super duper easy. Uh, it was just those two parts that were bad. You know, if you still have a problem, then you got bigger issues like uh, compressor that's bad or like a refrigerant leak. So hopefully this helped you out. If it did, drop me a huge thumbs up down below. Uh, don't forget to check out the links in the description. I'll link y'all up to all the tools and uh, parts I used in this video. And don't forget to drop me a comment down below and subscribe for more automotive uh, fixes in the future. For now, y'all, I'm out. Peace.